What's up, y'all? It's Amber, Amber's Fucking Closet, and I am going to make a video that has been a long time motherfucking coming. I told you guys the week that I started making videos that I was going to make a video about stems because I'm a stem, and I wanted to explain to you guys what it is because all you guys ask me, people all the time ask me on everything. I have stem on my Instagram, and they're like, what the fuck are you? What does that mean? What's a stem? I'm going to break it down for you guys. Okay, so this weekend... I try to get some friends together that were stems in their own way. They're different from me, but I was trying to get some get some people together that are stems and make a video for you guys. Unfortunately, most of what we taped, I can't put on here for you guys. It got messed up. So I'm going to reference them. I'm going to show you a little part of uh, a clip that did make it at the end when I'm trying to make one of my points. And then you guys can see some different kind of stems. Now, what a stem is. Okay, so when you break a stem down, basically equals a tomboy but there are different subcategories or in gay terms there's usually a femme and a stud that's what people know about gay people it's they either dress girly or they dress like a boy but there's something in the middle called a stem and i'm i'm happy to be a part of this subculture that has been blossoming because a lot of people don't even know what it is still but there's a lot of us out there so the subcategories with a stem are I break it down in three ways. There's a tom boy, a tom girl, and a half and half, right? A tom girl is someone that wears girl clothes, very boyish. A tom boy is somebody that wears boy clothes, very girly. And then there's a half and a half where somebody literally just wears girl clothes one minute and then all the way boy clothes the next minute. But they still have the traits of a stem. Now, what differentiates a, a stem from a stud is the fact that Okay, we might wear boy clothes, but we're still girly. We still usually wear makeup, we do our hair, we, you know, we still have that femininity to us, right? And then obviously what differentiates us from a femme is that we have some masculinity to us and we're very dominant. Now, why girls are attracted to stem so much is because of that in between that I was just talking about. A lot of femmes tend to like stems because they still get a girl. You know, when you date a girl, you want to date a girl, right? So a lot of fems like uh, stems because they still get that girliness about them, but they also get dominant and aggressive and a decision maker, which a lot of girls like. Now, when you date a man, that's those some of the things that you get. But like I said, you get best of both worlds because you'll still get the girliness with all of that dominance. Stems are very rare, y'all. It's, it's hard to come across a stem because it's hard to be a stem. It's hard to do both. It's hard to, you know, you know, wear heels and look nice and then sag your pants and look right. It's hard to pull it off. I know you guys have a friend where they wear boys clothes a lot and then all of a sudden a special occasion comes and they wear a motherfucking dress and you're like, what the fuck was that? Like, you look ratchet. You do not look right. Now, that happens a lot. That's not a stem. Like I said, a stem can pull it off. And a stem can look, you know, a stem can wear a dress and look bomb. And then all of a sudden go and sag their pants and look bomb. People are attracted to stem and whatever the fuck they do. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so rare to be a stem. Because you got to do both and do it right. It's also hard to be a stem because the fact that you got to do both, you have to have, it's like a whole lifestyle. You got to have a fucking closet with all this girly shit that's up to, up to speed, up to fashion. And then you got to have a whole closet on some boy shit. Do you know how confusing people get when I go to the store? I go inside um, a department store that has both. Let's say Zara. I'm all through the girl section trying to uh, get some shit for work. Then all of a sudden I'm all in the boy section trying to get some shit for after work. Because that's me. I got to do both. And I got to do both very nicely. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to go to work look at a mess. I want to look nice. I'm not super girly with my girly shit because I am more of a tomboy. So that means I wear boyish clothes very girly. But when I'm at work, I do wear girlish clothes very boyish so i'm what you call and half and half but i switch off it literally depends i created it i created these subcultures so i can be whatever the fuck i want to be and that's what i'm gonna do so it's hard to be us we gotta be up to par with everything we do do you know how fucking big my closet is fuck it's hard but guess what i'm cool with it this is my theory behind where stems came from where we blossom from this is what what my theory okay me personally, I came from Aaliyah. 
I think I grew up on Aaliyah, I grew up on Left Eye. Their style was very stimmish. Now, they're not gay, but they were very much tomboy. They would wear a girly shirt showing their stomach and sag their pants, right? But I would say stims came from a little bit of that era as well as sporty girls. Anything that girls that do competitively created the, their masculinity. And this is an example. Now, obviously, a lot of girls are very girly. So let's say that girls that dress girly and then get on the court or the field or whatever their sport is or their competition, they, they it develops their aggressiveness, which transitions to their masculinity. So even though growing up, I was girly off the court because I grew up obviously playing basketball, when I got on the court, I had to be the man. I had to be the most aggressive, the best one. I was very competitive. That drove my masculinity because I'm like, hold up, I'm the nigga up in this motherfucker. I'm the I'm the motherfucker. I'm the one with the ball. I'm dunking in your face. Okay, I can't dunk it, but you know I'm you know what I'm talking about. I'm Jake. I'm you know what I'm saying. I'm crossing you over. I'm going to the hole. Uh. So most of us develop that aggressiveness, that manliness, that uh, that dominance from playing our sports. I like to be the man in my relationships. Me too. Me too. Here, Me here. Three. And we are a very good transition for straight girls. I always get because, this. Because um, it's better than... <laughs> yeah. I've got it too because I've, I've turned out a few straight girls. And I didn't mean to. But the thing about it is is that they, fit, they find a girl that they're attracted to because they might be attractive in the face or something to them. But they're used to dating boys, so how our style is, is com comfortable with them. Like, they're used to dating dudes that dress that style. So we're well, a very good, good transi transition because <laughs> then we can still be dominant and take over, you know, more than sexually or in the relationship, whatever, um, just like a, a male would. There Please them better than a male would. Exactly. We know exactly what girls what like because we are girls, girls ourselves. So, and we're not like... The studs might be like you said earlier, which don't like to get touched. But we'll still get So touched. they're pr probably not pretty they're not hundred percent sure. We're gonna say no about it. And we know. <laughs> so we, I got this. I got it. <laughs> we got it We're together. Good. Okay, you guys. So I hope you guys um got some information from informational Amber about what a stem is. Now if you guys have any questions still Put that shit at the bottom. Or, you guys, you have so many fucking avenues to get a hold of my motherfucking ass. You guys can stalk me if you want to. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. You know what I'm saying? My fucking YouTube comments at the bottom. You guys have fucking free reigns to do whatever you want with my life. Damn near. So, do some shit. You guys have some, some fucking um, skit ideas or whatever the fuck you guys want to do. Put it at the bottom. Because, you know what I'm saying? I am creative, but I want to know what the fuck you guys want to watch. So, put it at the bottom. Just do it like Nike. Feel me? So, even though I'm wearing Adidas, goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. So, put some shit at the bottom so I can make some fucking videos because I want to know what y'all want to watch because I'm over here indecisive as fuck on what to do with a video because I want I don't know what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being an idiot and I'm here for y'all because who's watching it? You guys. Am I watching myself? No. So, I want to know what the fuck y'all want me to do on here, YouTube. Peace. Love y'all.